Well, hello, we have made it to the Florida Keys and we are here at the Fairfield Inn and & Suites by Marriott. Where are we going next? Let's go. In Marathon. So we are about halfway between the mainland and Key West. So we thought this would be a great place to kind of explore the Keys and be a good home base for the next couple days as we uh, explore this incredible chain of islands here connected to the United States. So I've never been here. I'm so excited. But I'm going to show you my room. It looks really cool and fun. Um, very clean um, and everything like that. Check-in was a breeze. Um, the traffic getting here was rough but we'll get into that later but here is a tour of the room so you can see everything that there is um, that this room has to offer So we've had an exciting day. Um, last night, our shower broke in the room. The handle actually fell off. The guy came, removed it. So we were able to take a shower last night. He came this morning to fix it. Now the problem is the toilet won't flush. So we're having all kinds of plumbing issues in our room. So we're seeing if they can get that fixed or we might have to move our room. Um, but I'm walking over to where the fitness center is. So that's our building right behind us. Huge parking lot here. Um, and then there's a little restaurant here that was closed last night because they were, of all things, they were having water issues. It's around the boil order. Um, now I'm going over to where the fitness center is. So you can see it's right along the water here. Um, and the fitness center is in this building over here. So our building is back there. And this is here. And then behind me, those back there are villas that are also connected to this Marriott property. All right, so the real question is, was this hotel worth it for the location, the price, and the amenities? Well, I'm happy to say that I thought it was. First of all, the location, it was perfect for us. We flew in and out of Fort Lauderdale, and it's halfway between Fort Lauderdale and Key West. So it was perfect for us to explore the Keys. Second, the value. The cost of this hotel was well within the range that we normally spend on hotels. The closer you get to Key West, the higher the cost. So just keep that in mind. While it can be great to be right in the heat of the action, if the cost is prohibitive and it doesn't allow you to actually experience the destination, it doesn't make much sense. And then finally, the amenities at the hotel. Being able to have a gym, the pool, and a hot breakfast every single morning was wonderful. It was a great benefit to us because it saved us a ton of money and time. We got up, had our breakfast, and then hit the road and were able to spend our time exploring versus searching for a restaurant to eat at. So would I recommend this? What I think of again? Absolutely. The Fairfield Inn and Suites in Marath was a really great spot to be a home base for us as we explored the Florida Keys. If you'd like to book yourself, I put the link in the description below. And if you got value out of today's video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss a thing. I look forward to catching up with you on my travels. Until then, travel safe. Where are we going next? Let's go.